Hello again, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Kevin here once again. And today I want to show you Asana. For those of you who know me, you know that I am big on using Agile project management collaboration boards. I have used Trello in the past and I have recently used Kanban Flow quite effectively. But I wanted to show you today why I think Asana is the best of the best for free boards. Because it lets you drill down and have a little more uh, detailed management of your collaborative process with your peers. So when you sign up for Asana.com, just like the other boards, you put in your email and you have the ability to create these boards. Each board is a project. You can see on the left hand side here, these are all members of uh, a project team. So a project team, can, you can add people to them by clicking the plus sign here very, very simply. Put in their email, they'll get an email. And you have team conversations, you have team calendars, which is great. Conversations and calendars are two big upgrades uh, over things that can be done in Trello and Kanban Flow. Um, it's just a lot more advanced way of doing that. And then here's my project. So think of projects as boards. And if you're not familiar with Agile boards, a project holds a series of cards or columns that, uh, and the, the cards go into individual columns that you can give any name to you want. So let's take a look at Interqual 2017, for example. I've created this board for a large project that I'm doing at work right now that I'm collaborating with. And I have split it up into weeks. So you can see it goes for from June to the end of July. And I give each work week a column so that I know how much work I'm trying to manage that given week. So with any kind of an agile project, the whole idea is to make sure you are completing and not taking on more work than you can get done. So in this instance, I do no more than three handoffs per week of these individual courses. So what we have here is um, June 19th to the 23rd, I've created these cards, and the 26th to the 30th, you can see I've taken about, I guess, 15 or 16 uh, individual learning objects and created them into weekly columns. Now, the great thing about this is, let's take a look across the top. So you have the board, which is this view, and then inside here, you also have conversations, so I can actually converse with people that I have invited to this board. If you look over on the left-hand side, these are all people that are on the overall project team, but on the top right here, you will note that these are people that are on this project. So you've got individual projects that you can invite individual people to here, but over here is everybody associated with any of these projects. So it's just a little higher level. So anyways, you can have conversations here, which is great. It's a running social conversation. You can post it, and the people will get notified that they have been posted, which I love. That is so cool. You also have a calendar view. So all of the things that I put into my cards on the board view also has a quick look into your calendar. So if you like to see it in a calendar format, it's all here as well. And I think this is really super. You also have progress where you can um, give a overall top level dashboard look to your uh, project. So this entire one is due on July 28th, all 15 modules. And down here, you actually have got this nice little chart where you can see I have 15 tasks remaining, none completed, and it runs through the 28th. So as I make progress, you have a nice little uh, chart here to allow you to view the progress. So I think that's really cool too. And you've also got files, so you can load files up here and share them with everybody as well. So it's a bit of a repository for shared information. But let's go back to the board view, and I wanna show you the thing that I think sets Asana apart from things like Trello and uh, Kanban Flow. And that is, let's click on one of these. So this is uh, the first course. And notice here that across the top you have a date and that's the due date for this particular uh, course inside of that column. You've also got the ability here to create tags, and we can talk about that in a little bit. Tags are a way to let you categorize uh, types of cards. And then here you've got lists or subtasks. And I wanna talk a little bit more about subtasks because you can see you can create subtasks in a check checkable format. And all of these subtasks I've created for this particular course, and 
I can come over here and assign them to people and assign a date. That, to me, is the biggest distinction between this and other free boards. Every subtask of this uh, particular card or task, which is this module, you can assign to a person, and also you can assign a time and a day to create, to complete, excuse me, that task, and also put in comments about that specific subtask. So you can assign a person, assign a date, and comment on a subtask. That's huge. So that's where I feel, guys, that this is a great, great tool. You can also come down here and write general comments as a running board about this um, card. So if you need comments at the card level, here's where you put them. If you need comments at the task level, they would go over here. It really gives you great versatility. So that to me is key. Um, I absolutely love that. And then you can see here that there's a comment on this one and it really does a great, great job. I, I'm really thrilled with this product. On the left-hand side, guys, I just want to show you, you've also got additional views. So you can see tasks that I've created in a list format. You can also see them in the calendar format. So this is really great. You can get down to not just the, the, uh, the, the card level, but you can get right down to the task level inside of a calendar view. And I think that's super. You can also do it from a list. And if you, um, you can also assign tasks to people. So tasks I've assigned to others. Now this one, this particular report, you have to upgrade to get the paid version to see tasks you've assigned and recently completed ones compiled. So there are a few things that you would need the paid version for, but I'll be honest, I get so much use out of this free version. It's, it's fine by me. So you can go up here to go to my tasks. You can also see the tasks this way. And you have this nice little way of filtering so you can see completed, incomplete, all tasks. I like to look at all and then I like to sort them by their due date. So this gives me that kind of Microsoft Outlook look into everything that's coming. So I absolutely love that. You've also got a dashboard that you can look at and add a project summary. I have not done it for this one yet. You've also got your inbox and your inbox is where you can um, turn on email notifications per user so that each person will be notified and you'll have a running list of the activity of um, kind of in mail that, that has been sent to the team. So there's lots and lots of ways to converse inside of Asana. And I think that's one of the biggest factors is the ability to converse so well, to see a calendar view, and to assign tasks to people, or, excuse me, subtasks to people with dates on them. That is just, to me, that's a big, big selling point for this tool. So really, guys, I mean, that's about it. You can see I've created multiple boards over here. I just wanted to show you multiple projects, I should say. So I've got a work week project. I use this to assign Monday through Monday through Friday. So this kind of keeps track of what I'm doing and prioritizing with color coding. This is where I wanted to talk with you briefly just about the color coding. So for example, my Interqual 2017 work, I have color coded as development time. So you can just come here and pick any particular card and give it a color code. And for me, blue is development time. Um, orange is my meeting time. And purple are my administrative tasks. So that's just how my day kind of breaks up. I'm either doing development, I'm in meetings, and I'm doing administrative work on the university, in the corporate university or whatnot. So that's that one. Um, I have an overall project one that I keep. So this is Interqual 2017. This is the one I just showed you the, the breakout detail of. But I also keep a board for my overall projects, which are planned in development in QA and done. So this is just a very high level dashboard of all of the work that I'm doing currently. This is the deep dive into Interqual that I was just showing you. I just love it. Again, conversations, calendar view, progress view, just fantastic. And then um, I also do for my website, I also produce videos like this. And this is the way that I keep track of my ideas and ones that are in process. This one is Asana that you're seeing right now. So I'll give you a live view of it. This one will actually be moving over to 
in process, which it is. And then when it's when this video is done and posted up to my social media YouTube account, I'll move it into this column and that shows that I'm completely done. And then it's time to move some of the my next ideas over to this column and get them through. So I use that to kind of keep myself going. And I've also got um, a little at-home channel that I do on YouTube as well. And I use the same kind of a setup here. Video ideas, in process, done, and posted to my social media. So if I want to add new projects, even with the free uh, version of Asana, guys, you can continue to add multiple projects. I think I can have far more users as well in the free version than I would ever have collaborating with me. So I'm good there. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. I just wanted to show you this is Asana. Um, if you're looking for something that allows you to really organize your projects, but collaborate and allow yourself to delegate work to other people and have them come in and actually update their own work, this is a great, great tool to use um, to get your work done faster. All right. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I appreciate it today. Uh, this is Kevin. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.